Hello, hello, it's Katie Proud to be your thought organizer at Decoder's Brain. What do I do? And happy Monday to you, by the way. Uh, what do I do? I help entrepreneurs and future entrepreneurs to organize their space and streamline your thoughts so that they can focus on attracting and serving premium clients uh, and basically serving humanity. Because at the end of the day, don't we all want to say that we were productive on the right things? We got the right things done. We weren't just uh, idling away time on, quote, busy work, right? And don't forget that productivity equals profitability. And profitability doesn't always have to be about money. Now, this week, uh, following hot on the heels of last week's Declutter the Bedroom, where we talked a little bit about feng shui, this week we are going to be talking about feng shui for the entrepreneur. Now, if you've been if you've been following me for a few months, you're going to say, well, wait a minute now, she addressed this. This sounds familiar, and yes, it will sound familiar. And the reason that we will be addressing, I, I address this topic twice a year, same as I address. Uh, senior citizens right sizing twice a year the reason I do this is because it, the the are messages that bear repeating now of course senior citizens they, they there are two prime real estate seasons so I time them round about that and the feng shui we're still in the beginning of the year when we last addressed it it was in September where the kids were back in school and things get back to routine we are now after the holidays and things are getting back into a routine and we're looking around our homes and things are getting, the, the days are getting a little bit longer, a little bit brighter and we're noticing that we may not be feeling as lemony fresh about our place. Maybe it needs a little bit of a freshening as it were and feng shui could be exactly the, the ticket for you to do that so let's dive in shall we today we're just going to do a bit of an overview and we're going to do an overview of the overview actually feng shui has been around the chinese practice of feng shui has been around for uh, around 3500 years depending on where you read and my mentor he he he's been at it over 20 years and he says kitty i'm still learning i will never become a full master where i know everything so whatever we touch on today is just a basic uh a few uh, a few tips that that will help you because i know they've helped me they've helped my clients so stick with me won't you <laughs> all right now don't forget feng shui is or anything like it is not a toy it is to be it is a serious practice designed to be done with intention now in china the, the practitioners are paid very very well thank you very much to adjust uh, homes uh, advise on real estate purchases and even the building the construction of real estate so is, is this is serious business do not treat it as a toy approach it i suggest with intention what is it that you want to accomplish do you want more do you want more wealth do you want a better career do you want better relationships with your partner or your children ask yourself what it is that you want to accomplish what do you want to improve and i suggest you know i love the word one i suggest you choose one area to improve on and th then once you see something and once you've done some feng shui cures and you're seeing some improvements there then it's the right time to move on to another topic most people choose choose wealth many choose relationships i've worked with a lot of people who have done one or the other so choose one thing to work on and yeah every single feng shui book i have ever read and my mentor said thou shalt declutter you must declutter before you are doing any feng shui there's no you're just wasting your time get rid of the old bring in uh, so that you can bring in the new now if we're talking to an entrepreneur this probably means you want to start in your office where wherever your workspace is and make sure that you're uh, that that you're getting rid 
of the stuff that you don't need anymore. You know what I'm talking about. And your desk. And for bonus points, we can do the, you can do the office care. But first, the message for today is to declutter your, no, declutter your office and get rid of the obvious junk first. Until tomorrow when we talk about, put out the welcome mat. You have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.